Yes, get excited, people. It's over, Mike Todd. <laughs> and this morning, the retired Marine who stepped in when he saw kids putting themselves in danger just trying to get to school. Uh, now he's serving his community just as he served his country. Aw. Call him the crossing guardian angel. He um, protects us and he keeps us safe. With hundreds of unmanned streets in the city of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the students of Martin Luther King Jr. Elementary School dodge traffic every day. But when retired Marine Corporal Lewis Austin watched the child run between moving cars, he decided to step in. Before Lewis Austin came to help cross the children, cross the street, it was really hectic. Even his parents, it was difficult to get them to cross the street. A wave here, a salute there. The decorated Vietnam vet proudly protects the kids every day as an unofficial crossing guard. Thanks. You're welcome. Always sporting his signature dress blues. This is a tight community, so uh, people that know him and just see the uniform, they respect him. He is inspiring me to be in the military because how hard he's been fighting for our country and our state. I say good morning and he says good morning right back. And I thank him for making me feel safe and making me safe crossing the street. Oh. And Corporal oh, Lewis so Austin, he joins us live from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Good morning, Corporal. How are you? Good morning, how are you? We are, we are great. You know, take us back to the moment when you saw the kids crossing the, crossing the street. What made you want to jump in? Take us back to that moment. Well, I seen it last year towards the end of the season. Uh, school was coming out and I seen a, a student cross in between uh, the cars there. And I said, well, where's, where's the crossing guard? I said, oh my God, we need one. So I looked and we didn't have one. So this past Monday was first day for school and it came heavy on my heart that I need to go down there to see if there's a crossing guard. And if it's not a crossing guard, then I need to stand in and do it myself till we work this out. Now, now, what do the kids say when they see you in the morning? Do they check out, speaking of heart, which you have a big heart, but also you have a purple heart. Now, do they check out your purple heart? Do they ask you a lot of questions? Oh, yes, sir, they do. Uh, usually I help them across and they step lively though, but they'll, they'll say good morning to me. Uh, they'll say thank you for serving and they'll ask me a little bit about my medals, but I've uh, got a lot of fingerprints on now because they like to touch it, so, but that's okay. Well, get get your out. polish out, get your polish out. Keep it polished up for the yes. kids. Yes. And um, you know, when you first came back from Vietnam, yeah. there were a lot of uh, people who didn't take too kindly to soldiers in uniform. How's the response now? Uh, it's remarkable now. Like when we first came home, it was really you know, hard to put on a uniform because of what was going on. But today, I always have something veteran on, like uh, like a vest which says uh, Marine Corps on it, Vietnam. And a lot of ones will come up and say, thank you, sir, for serving. And if it's a Marine, then they would say Semper Fi. And, you know, it, it, it's not to put on anything with military on now. Well, you know what, Corporal? We want to thank you for your service then and thank you for your service now. Thank you so much.